Hello, my name is Gail Matapo and I will provide a quick presentation on the online citation management tool known as Zotero. Zotero has been around since 2006, yet many researchers are not familiar with the tool. It is available for downloading onto Google Chrome, Microsoft Firefox, or Safari. It can be used to store, arrange, and annotate various online materials, including web pages, PDF, audio, and video files. This tool is also compatible with a number of websites and databases, including Google Scholar, JSTOR, SSRN, and Amazon. In order to access Zotero, you can go to the website Zotero.org and click on the Download Now button. The downloading process will take several minutes. While you are downloading, you will also have an opportunity to create an account, which is necessary in order to store resources found online. The next few slides will take you through the steps of exporting online content into your Zotero account. For the purposes of this presentation, the Zotero software has been downloaded and my Zotero account has been created. In this presentation, I will show you how to export online content from Congress.gov's website. I am searching for a video of a congressional hearing that addresses technologies and farming, which happens to be of particular interest to me since my legal interest is in environmental law and agriculture. I will start by clicking on the link for the videos of House Committee hearings, which you will find on the bottom left of the screen. Once I click on the link, I am directed to a list of hearings and I can click on the fourth result, which addresses innovations in the future of farming. Once I click on the link for the video of the hearing, I can give myself the opportunity to listen to the video or if I am pressed for time, I can go ahead and export it into my Zotero account for later viewing. In order to export the video, I will right click on the screen and the icon for the Zotero connector will appear. I will need to click on that link in order to produce a list of saving options which you can find on the right bottom of the screen. I usually choose the third option, Save to Zotero web page without a snapshot which will take you directly to the existing web page. Once you click on it, the video will save to your Zotero account. Another way that you can export your online content into your Zotero account is to click on the Zotero icon on the top right of the screen. It actually looks like a page and that can be a quicker way to export your online content. The next screen is an example of the layout of a Zotero account. Starting on the left hand side, the first column will list your collections, which are also known as folders. Uh, this is the column where you will store your online resources. The middle column will provide the title of each item and the third column provides bibliographic information for the items that are exported. The next few slides will illustrate how to add notes to your resources. In order to add notes to a resource, you can click on the link for your item in the middle column and then click again on the drop down menu. You would actually click on add notes. Once you click on add notes, a space will be provided for note taking and that space will appear in the third column. There you can type your notes. Once you go back to retrieve your online item, you can go to the third column and click on the notes tab and you will find the link to your notes.
A convenient feature of Zotero is the fact that the entire text of your online content will remain intact as you found it online. Zotero is pretty easy to use and cuts down on time when you're conducting your research. For more information about Zotero, you can go to Zotero.org, click on the documentation tab, and find more information about using Zotero, including its Write and Cite feature, which is useful for creating bibliographies in the Blue Book Citation style format in a Word document.